have been thinking about doing Corbett. We have uh, been to a fair number of safaris earlier. But Corbett uh, kind of uh, sits right at the peak, I was told. So uh, it's been a wish for quite some time. But we are not just getting the right time and the opportunity. So this sort of materialized and we know Shashan, we have done trips with him earlier. So when he floated this, we just came. This is my third visit to Corbett. When uh, a friend of ours, Oru Shuman, they said they are going. And uh, Shashank is the leader. So then and there, we said, yes, we also want to go. So that's how it came. struck by the awesome beauty of the forest. The Sal forest, then uh, the sun rays, uh, sunbeams peep, peep, peeping out, the quiet, still, clear Ram Ganga River, the general beauty as a whole. I mean, apart from the animals and birds and all those things, the, what struck out was the beauty of the forest itself. Minus the uh, wildlife, even it stands out. I would say that to be the Samba Road was like uh, being on a at a theater. You just you just be you just wait at the river bank and you just see the drama unfold in front of you. Of small birds, big birds, animals, to crocodiles, to anything. I can spend any any number of hours over there. From that, when you get on to the uh, main road and you drive towards the thing, this is a sal, very dense sal forest with a full canopy. And as Shoma was saying, the light filters through and sometimes there is fog. So this is a wonderful display of, of light and shade, which is a photographer's delight. Corbett is, uh, what do I say? I always felt Corbett is a friendly jungle. You know, you have a hostile jungle, neutral jungle and a friendly jungle. That is, I have, I used to categorize them the way I feel it. In a Corbett, Corbett has always been, a, from my very first visit, it was a friendly jungle. And biggest attraction is staying in the core area, which is the not Kala. available in any of the other national parks. We saw deer many kinds of deer, the spotted deer, the uh, samba deer, the barking deer. Then we saw a wild boar with its family. <laughs> and then uh, jackal, again uh, with cubs also, jackal cubs. And then elephant of course, a majestic elephant, a young tusker also. They were nicely grazing away peacefully by the side of the river. That was a really beautiful sight. First thing, big cat. Second, uh, lot of, lot of birds. Uh, and uh, I um, told, requested Shashank to show me scarlet miniwet. I saw that also. And Shantan captured it. And very rare kind of bird that is uh, thick built pigeon that is very rare, Shashank told us. And lot of uh, three, four, uh, five, six varieties of kingfishes and falconet. One was uh, really fantastic with one uh, female tiger with three cubs. And we sort of saw them again within a short time. And the cubs were not shy. The cubs actually sat down and there were two groups of vehicles, one in front and one on the back. And the, the midsection, there was a log and there was sunlight filtering through and the cubs gave us enough time to photograph them. So that was really more than what we had expected on the, on the first day. They were playing with each other also. That we enjoyed. The sight of the two cubs staring straight at me, you know, with uh, the sunlight coming from behind, which Arup was saying, it is ringing the you know fire around the ears. You know something that you've always dreamt. You know, and really getting it on frame is something different, right? And of course, then uh, those birds in those hidden quarters of the tree. <laughs>
<laughs> Shooting blind and then realizing you got it. <laughs> It always gives you a thrill. Last two uh, visit, I couldn't see the leopard, but this time we, we saw. sighted it. We sighted it, <laughs> though it was a small this thing uh, backside of the leopard he was on the top of the tree, and it was uh, almost dark, but they uh, can. <laughs> Dekala is really wonderful. It's a massive place and it has the beauty of its own. Uh, moreover, we, are, we were staying at the core of the jungle, so we never really felt that we are staying in a guest house or rest house. Uh, it was as if we were just camping there. The staff was very courteous, very polite, and they really looked after us. I would say it's a little basic, but that, that is kind of expected. And also don't really uh, expect to have uh, star facilities inside the core that will also spoil the place you know because of the garbage that you will be producing otherwise so it's a bit spartan but it's functional and it's it's comfortable i would say it's not posh but it's comfortable Very good, very good, very good. It could have been better. I mean, they are accomplished driver and a very knowledgeable guide. So he just added to whatever you were actually trying to, you know, tell us. So it was, it was a good combination to have you both in the vehicle. Both our guide and our drivers, we are always lucky. Wherever we go, we get good uh, drivers and guides. This time Vijay was, he went out of his way to maximize our uh, sightings. He, he was always on the lookout for birds. Only he could spot them, I don't know how he could. And um, our driver, of course, whenever he wait, he would patiently wait. No, no, move an inch forward, he did that. He was always, always at our beck and call almost. See, I picked Shashank from his Facebook profile without knowing him and Ranthambur was a super hit. So uh, thereafter, Arup and Shoma did travel with you on a few uh, expeditions together. So we were looking out for one. So when Arup said we are going to Corbett, I said we are on. <laughs> so traveling with Shashank is good fun. Everything yeah. is arranged, so things are nice. It takes Everything care in place. Him. Everything is taken care of. So, God bless you. What can I say about Shashank? <laughs> Last but not the least. Uh, well, he's almost <laughs> like a family to us. And wherever, whenever we go anywhere with Shashank, we know whatever problem arises, he will set to it. And he, he really looks after us. Bless you. join us on our safari tours and expeditions uh, please do connect with us on the platforms mentioned below and if you'd like to know more on india's wildlife and our protected areas please do subscribe to our channel thank you for joining us see you next time